What's going on guys? Bob Buskirk here at Sync Computers and what I'm showing you is the programming software that you will download for Mad Cat's Rat M mobile gaming mouse. So this is your main screen and this is the programming screen and you can basically program every button that is on this mouse. So you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten total buttons that you can program. And what they do is they allow you to they have all these shortcuts built in, so maybe I want this button right here. Of course, I would want that to be, um, let's see. Um, we'll make that one forward. Is there forward on here? There's back. Okay, we'll make that one forward. And, of course, we'll make this one back. Um, so now, you know, when I'm viewing a web page, I can easily go back and forward very quickly with these buttons. So you can see how adding a... Um, Pro, or adding a um, shortcut here is very easy to do. Of course, you have all these shortcuts that Mad Cats provides for you, and then you have your keys. So you have all the keys on your keyboard, plus the F keys and all of that other stuff that you can program in there. And you can also have favorites. So you can add these to favorites um, by right-clicking and just going add to favorites. Another custom thing, especially for gamers, you want to program program in macros. You can easily do that. So I can go in here and create a custom command. Click on that. And we'll name this uh, test1. And the command, let's say it's a mouse click. So you can use the mouse or you can use a keyboard or any other uh, peripheral that you have. So the way it is, is so maybe I want to type in T and then maybe the mouse click one. So what I do is I hover over the mouse, mouse click one, as you can see that um, there's a mouse click. Uh, maybe I need to scroll up on the mouse, so I just go like this, scroll up, and you can see that. Maybe I need to scroll down, and maybe I'll hit uh, L on the keyboard, and then you can go ahead and hit OK, and it's saved in there. And of course you can, um, when you go in here too, you can make an icon for it. So maybe it's say for, I don't know, uh, WoW, you can have a little WoW icon or, uh, you know, whatever game or whatever it's for, you can make the icon just to make it easier. So when you're loading it in on here, um, it's again, much easier. Under your settings tab here, uh, lets you know your battery life. And this uh, mouse is made to last a very long time. So it says we have a year remaining on our two AAA batteries. Uh, the DPI, DPI LED sleep timer, so that's when the LEDs will go to sleep after usage. You can set it to um, between, I guess, five seconds and all the way up to about four minutes. Precision aim is something that is on Mad Cat's mice, but it doesn't seem that in this software that you can necessarily enable it because if you go into programming under our shortcuts, there is no precision aim in here. Um, so that's something that worries me just a little bit about the software. Maybe they haven't implemented it yet. I'm not really sure. Over here, you have your DPI settings. So um, on the mouse, there is a DPI quick switch, which will allow you to switch between two different DPI settings. You cannot really cycle through all of the DPI settings. At least I haven't figured that out just yet. You have your two settings. So our first one is 800 and our next one is 2400. And you can also change the X and Y axis. I have them linked right now, but if you want to unlink them, you can go ahead and switch the axes how you want them um, for each setting. So that is it. And then DPI cycle, which I'm guessing is when I hit this, the DPI cycle button, it's going to cycle between those two DPI settings. You can open your Windows mouse settings. You can reset everything. And of course, you can apply the settings that you just did. And then finally, under support, you can download new drivers and software. You can download different profiles. You can go to the knowledge base. You can submit a ticket if you're having problems. And of course, you can contact Mad Cats. Also here, they do have a tutorial video, a uh, programming manual, and a quick start guide. And of course, you can see all of their social networks. So the software is good, um, but I would have liked to see a little bit more in-depth stuff, uh, especially since this is a gaming mouse. There's no profiles, so if I load WoW, I have to set everything up in here the way I want it, especially if I'm doing macros. And then if I want to go play, um, you know, Counter-Strike, I have to reload everything again. I really wish they would have included profiles, at least three, um, again, since this is a gaming mouse. But this is the software overview for Mad Cat's Rat M gaming mouse. If you have any questions about it or if you're having trouble with something, go ahead and leave us a comment below. And remember, guys, if you like our videos, why don't you subscribe? Catch you guys later. Thank you.